Through the course of playing Lost Orbit, I died 247 times. I go through the same sections dying over and over and over. Though it wasn't because the game was particularly hard. I knew that if I really needed to, I could have slowed down a bit, hit the air brakes, and carefully navigated around the laser beams and the asteroids. I just didn't want to. I wanted to go fast. That sensation of airborne speed, the feeling of hurtling through the air, is something that's difficult to capture in video games, but the St. Catharines, Ontario indie developers Pixel Knots have done exactly that and pulled together a debut game that manages to impress with both clever writing, tight controls, and a finely scaled difficulty curve that introduces new mechanics at the right pace so that just as things are starting to feel a bit too comfortable, a new layer is added to the game. The game also has really, really good music. I'm actually going to just shut up for a second and let you enjoy it. A so-called dodge-em-up, Lost Orbit is a unique game. The closest thing I could reasonably compare it to would be the old Nights into Dreams series, but a more modern comparison would be something like Ollie Ollie, because the challenge in all these games is not derived by merely finishing the level, but by doing it in style. What really separates this game from those others, though, is that the story in Lost Orbit is actually worth paying attention to. It's witty and whimsical, and I enjoyed it right through to the end. So whether you're looking for a speedrun challenge or a heartwarming little tale, check this one out. And don't forget you can head over to NiagaraThisWeek.com to check out a bunch of stuff I write. You can visit my Steam community group to see all the other games that I've reviewed. And you can follow me on Twitter where I mostly tweet about cats and stuff.